there, it's me, Veronica Drake, but you can call me V. Today, I'm going to talk to you about soul contracts. Now, before you get too excited and you forget to do it, if you like this kind of stuff, hit subscribe to my channel on YouTube, jump over on my Facebook page, and visit my website because I have a great offering for you where you can learn your strongest intuitive sense. And once you learn that, you work with it, and then you begin to use what I'm going to teach you right now about your soul contract. So, you ready? Here we go. Everybody comes into this world with a contract. So think of it like this. A legal contract here on, on planet Earth, you go to the lawyer, you write it up, you sign it, review it, and there it is. It holds the terms to an agreement that you've made. Same is true with a soul contract. Think of it like this. You sit before a group of elders ascended masters, guides, ancestors, angels, whoever your team is composed of, and you base this new contract for this incarnation based on past lifetimes. You've done this, check, you've done that, well, you missed this and you didn't quite get that, and so it gets written in to the soul's contract. Now, when we come in, the human has basically no recollection of the soul contract. Now, up until about the age two, two and a half, maybe three, the human travels back and forth. And the human understands, but can't articulate, because there's no speech at that age. They go back and forth and they know how to stay connected. It's our natural nature and very familiar and very comfortable. So in the first couple of years of life, they're still negotiating pieces of the contract. Now, what does that mean? They can't back out of it. They can't rewrite the whole thing, but they can still make additions to it and say, well, maybe I'm going to do this and maybe I'm going to have some of that. And wow, why don't we go for this? And so I'm making it very simple and very practical using human terms. Now, what also is agreed upon is that your physical body, your energy centers, your chakras will help you understand and carry out your soul contract. So what do I mean by that? You have the crown, the third eye, the throat, and the heart. The upper four chakras are very ethereal. They're kind of esoteric. They're not tangible. Now, that doesn't make them any less real or mean anything less. When you get to the solar plexus, the sacral, and the root, your body, your lower three energy centers carry every lesson contained in your soul contract. Let me say it again. Solar plexus, sacral, and root chakra carries the energy, the frequency, the knowing of every single lesson in your soul contract. Hmm. Now, this takes extensive work, it takes years of studying, and really understanding the chakras, the mindset, the thoughts. You kind of have to be curious, right? This is why I know this, because I've done the work. Not only have I done my own work, I've done it for hundreds and hundreds of other people. And all of the work I do is because it's downloaded to me. V, go do this. V, this is what this looks like. I sit, I basically take dictation and I make highlights and I make notes. And so the lower three chakras carry the energy that your soul signed up for, aka your contract. And it is a roadmap to 
why you're here and what you're here to experience. Now, let me stop right there and let me tell you, it's not a Hollywood movie. It's not kumbaya. It's not, woo, I'm going to be, a, you know, a, a unicorn on this planet. It's none of that. Now, that comes in a little bit down the road, but your soul contract contains what you didn't fulfill or experience in past lifetimes. Now, this is way more complicated than I could ever get into in this little mini video, but I'm going to give you a little jump start. I'm going to say five words, and I want you to feel the words. I mean, really feel these words. I don't want you to just go off in la la land and make something up. I want you to right now physically tap into your body. I want you to take a breath and I want you to feel your gut. Go into your solar plexus. Get a visual of what it looks like. Be creative. This is the center of self. Go into your heart. Maybe you're a heart person. Is it warm? Is it fuzzy? Is it thumping? Is it anxious? Go into your root chakra. Do you feel jittery, anxious? You can't sit still. Ungrounded. Do you feel disconnected? I want you to get a feel for your body, the energy centers. Okay? And I'm going to say five words to you, and I'm going to pause between the words, and you're going to feel each word. I want you to feel what it feels like. I'm going to ask you to describe it to me. Maybe you can get an image of it. The more you can get, the better. Ready? Love. Security. Status, recognition, or validation. Now, one of those five words will most likely be the theme of your contract. Hmm pretty big revelation right there. Now, take your time. Make sure you're in a head space and a physical space to do the work. Understanding, knowing yourself takes a lifetime. There's nowhere to get. There's nowhere to be on this journey. Right here, right now, what you're doing is exactly the journey. So be with it. Be present. Feel those words. Understand the word that is the label or the theme for your contract. And when you're ready, take your notebooks out, take your journal out, and let yourself receive the guidance around the word. You're going to hear things, you're going to see things, you're going to get a feeling, you're going to get an image, you're going to get a symbol, maybe there's a memory. What you put into this exercise is what you get out. Now, this is a simple, simple, simple snapshot of the big, big, big work that I do. I'm taking women on a journey deep into their soul so that they can begin to live a life that they came here to live. Understanding their soul contract, being of service, and working through their wounds. It's what I do. Now, if you ever booked a reading with me, you know I'm very conversational in nature. I hear things come from spirit, and it's not me just 
regurgitating the message. I want to dialogue about it. I want to get in there. I want to excavate. I want to be deep about what's going on with you. I want to give you every opportunity to be part of this reading, this session, this revelation. And so if you choose to book a reading with me, it's not going to be making predictions. It's not what I'm about. I am not going to do that. I am not going to feed conspiracy theory at all. I am not going to feed the dark light. Not who I am. I am going to lead you deep into yourself so that you can take your word, which we will come up with together if you struggle to do this. And I will offer you the confirmation that you're looking for based on my guidance from spirit. And we will start you on the path to going within so that you can begin to live the life you came here to live. Stop putting it off. The time is now. VeronicaDrake.com I'm going to be putting out a lot more mini content like this. I'm going to be starting something that's going to be teaching. It's a big surprise, but watch it. It's coming. Take care.